Hello family, it's Danita. I'm here today to show you the fireplace screen I made um, after being inspired by Neiman Marcus's website, the fire screen that you saw in the beginning. I found these sets that you can link together at Dollar General. Um, they were on sale. They're usually $2 per set. Um, for this craft, you'll need... 10 um 10 sets it also depends on the um dimensions of your fireplace as well so i needed 10 sets to make um three rows and the first thing that i needed to do was <clears throat> Uh, link them together so I can know how wide and this is the white iron uh, look fencing for two dollars and guys I found this on sale um, for 20 cents each so I grabbed the whole box and I decided after looking on Neiman Marcus's website to uh, to try to imitate it at a very very low price lower price than was shown on the um, website so the first thing you'll need to do is cut off those spikes on the bottom so that you'll have a foundation if you can see in the top right corner I have one of the rows completed already and as you can see the spikes are cut off um, so yeah we'll cut all of these off and just be careful as you can see i was able to cut them off with scissors but they did um fly across the room but i was able to collect them um so this is what we'll do we'll do on the first um or well, the second row that i'm making So you'll have one, two, four total of the sets to make the, that's what I needed to make the first or to make the row. And it only took me about maybe 30 minutes um, of course, with the gluing and the drying time, um, it was a little longer, um, but yeah, it didn't take that long at all, but you want to be careful and make sure that you're cutting as even as possible. So that the um, screen is even. So as I'm finishing up cutting these off, I'm going to link together two of them, which will be the face of the screen. And then the other two will be the L shape to help the screen stand. Now when I linked these on earlier, I found that I needed to cut the two of them off um, because of the width of my hearth. So I just hooked it to make sure that I'm getting the right side. And then I just cut it. And as you can see, that one split. But if you cut careful enough and to the right, um, they'll stay intact. But on that one that split, I'll just trim that side off and leave it open. You can use scissors as I'm using, or you can use any other cutting utensil that you have. Um, the, but they were able, I was able to use the scissors for the whole, um, the whole craft. 
so as you can see um you'll have two left over but see that one split so i'll need to trim that off and i kind of trimmed at an angle so then we'll hook that one onto the end It's a little sockets and that you just slide it through and then there it'll stand so then I'll do the other side and again I always will hook it to make sure that I'm using the right side I don't want to cut and end up having have cut on the wrong end so I'll hook it up Make sure I'm cutting the right side. And then this one, you'll see that I cut it to the right enough to where the whole piece stayed intact. Now these fencings can be used for many different um, crafts and actually they're made for making you like a little fence and outside for maybe your garden or something like that or decorative um but i've seen them used for um wall decor and different um different crafts or different um decors but as you can see that one was stayed solid so i'll hook that one on and then there you go that's it that's one of three that I'll be making or have made the one that's sitting at the top right on the fireplace already and this one and then I'll have one more to make using the same techniques so I'll put that one to the side and I'll grab my next sets which will be four um, hooking the two together and that's the other set so I'm gonna put them the all three together and begin my gluing process So the items that you need, of course, are scissors, the fencing, um, I use E6000 glue, um, as well as hot glue. So um, using my, I actually use Fix All from Dollar Tree as a stronger adhesive. I put it on uh, each tab, because you can let that set. And then I'd put a dab of hot glue on it. And then I glued it, stuck it end to end. And I found that you'll have to hold it for maybe about 15 seconds to make it bond. And then I also, um, added extra hot glue to be sure that it bonded but made sure and then this one is what I, I tried I used some reinforcement by using the little spikes and I glued it and then I added it to the fencing to add extra support going straight up and at an angle so this is what I have guys this is my finished result I hope you enjoyed it watching. I hope you um, it inspires you to make one if you so fit see fit. Um, if you like this video, please like it and and subscribe and leave any comments on what you think. And yes, I did plan to have that one upside down on the top so that I'll have a solid line going across the top so there you have it guys i'm pretty pleased with it 
I'm trying to think if I'm going to keep it that color or if I'm going to paint it the same color as the inspiration. Send me your, uh, your comments and let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.